Good morning. Periscope. How y'all doing out there? Hi. Good morning. It's Tina. Tina Rash. Good morning, Perry. How you doing? It's me. Ran a little late this morning. Hey, you guys. Tina Rash here, your health and wellness consultant. Good morning. How y'all doing? Today is Thursday. And if this is your first time joining me, I am your health and wellness consultant. My name is Tina Rash. And I have decided to take control of my health so that I can help you guys take control of your health. And today I want to know what you're doing about it. What have you decided to do about your health? One thing different. Are you taking control of it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are you taking control of your health? And how are you doing it? I want to know. You guys tap the screen. Share this with your followers. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Thank you for the Purple Hearts. Thank you so much. But yes, how are you taking better control of your health? Tina Rash. I'm on Facebook as Tina Rash. I'm a health and wellness consultant. I decided about five years ago to take control of my health and um, do something about it. You're welcome. I was overweight. I was depressed. And good morning. I, would, I wanted to feel better. So I got into health and wellness and wants to help a lot of other people um, take control of their health. And I always say, you guys, just start where you are. Don't go out and get all of the um, low-fat this, low-fat that, um, sugar-free this, sugar-free that. We talked about that the other day. That's not the best route. Just start where you are. Cut back. Um, I am very happily. Thank you. Um, tap the screen. You guys share this with your followers. And I just, there is a piece of hair on my lip, you guys, that is just annoying me to no end this morning. I am so sorry. But, um, hold on. Here I am, but I decided to take control of my health. And like I said, you don't have to go out and buy all this Weight Watchers, this diet food, um, low fat this, low fat that. There are other options that you can um, take to better yourself, better your health. Um, cut back on fried foods health starts in the kitchen cut back on carbs cut back on sugar oh my goodness especially refined sugar my goodness that stuff gets in our bodies and holds to our gut also um a lot of pork 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 and beef sits in there and does not um digest for days you guys and makes us bloated makes us have reflux okay i'm sorry you guys some people just don't know when to quit um you can use what you have in your kitchen 
to start your day. Good morning, Citra777. Hey, girl. We just had a block party. You missed it. <laughs> but anyway, you don't have to go out and get all of this um stuff marked low fat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody was just um didn't know what to say, girl. All over the place. Um uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but um you can cut back on grease, um, oil, butter, uh, real butter. Oh my goodness, margarine has a lot of preservatives, a lot of um, fat. It's not good for you. So before you go out here and buy all this stuff, look in your refrigerator, look in your cabinet. See what you can get rid of. See what you can use. Start where you are, you guys. It's so important to start where you are. That way you don't get overwhelmed and you don't um, jump in um, head first, sideways. <laughs> I want to say feet first, but <laughs> that was just too simple. Head first, sideways. Getting all this stuff and going all around and following all these people and trying to do all this stuff. Just um, start where you are. Get you in 15 minutes of cardio movement every day. Um, get you in two bowls of greens every day. Salad, uh, spinach, kale, hot greens, cold greens. Um, kind of chop you up a little bit of uh, greens on top of um, your meats that you would regularly eat. I mean, like I said, start where you are. Just do a little bit. Little stuff compounds over time into big stuff. And you start seeing changes. You start seeing um, inches come off. You start seeing um, pounds come off. Your clothes getting looser. But what are you doing about it um, to change it, to better it? On today, what, what are you going to do today to better your health? Tell me one thing um, that you could do today that you could um, start cutting out today to better your health, you guys. Come on, y'all talk to me. What's one thing that you could cut out that you could do? There's nothing that you guys could do? Well... I'm going to tell you one thing that I did. Yes, <laughs> Perry. That's right. Cut out chips. And in the beginning, it may seem like a lot. Uh, coffee. Coffee is good. Um, good morning, Money Rash. Tap the screen. Share this with your followers. Share this on Facebook. Um, <laughs> Citra, you are speaking my language, girl. <laughs> um, with chips oh my goodness carbs very um addictive and i know girl i know um like i said you don't have to go out and buy all this low fat stuff cut back um to you're not eating a whole bag of chips are you Perry? i know not classmate um start cutting back Get you a small Ziploc bag and put you a serving, which is one and a half ounces or so, maybe 15, 20 chips into a bag. Same thing with cake and sweets. Um, if you got all this stuff in your house, you're only fooling yourself. You don't need it in there if you're trying to cut back. Get it out. Because if it's there, guess who's going to want to eat it? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> right. So... Um, if it's not there, you can't eat it. But if it is there, um, start pushing back from it. Start pushing back from it. Right. Thank you, Citra. That's right. A, a sliver of a slice. Just, and that, that means it's half, half of that serving that you may want to have. Because you just really, you really just want to get the taste in your mouth. You don't want to get the whole kid and caboodle you know you want to get just enough to say well i had some sweet i'm gonna stop right here which is hard to do 
but it's doable. Once you make up in your mind, you want to do it. You push back from a lot of stuff, especially if you don't think it's healthy for you. Or if you like me, you know, you come from a long line of um, obesity or diabetes. Yes, we can. Well, that's good that you done cut back. What did you have for breakfast this morning? What did you have for breakfast? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get with you, Citra, about the coffee. You know, I got to roll on that for a little while, girl. Cause, <laughs> whew, I need a cup now. <laughs> what you have here? What you eat for breakfast? Don't be trying. Um, hold out. Okay, oatmeal and stuff. That's good. Oatmeal got a lot of fiber in it. Regular sausage, turkey sausage, just sausage, sausage. Okay. Um. It's not bad. If it was a serving, one cup of oatmeal and whatever the ser sausage serving was, that's good. But now that you drink some water, have you drank water at all this morning? <laughs> we love Mr. Rudy, don't we? <laughs> but have you had your water intake today? Drink it. Get it in. Go on and get you in a bottle right now. <laughs> All right, Citra. You on the bottle, girl. All right. Y'all getting it. Tap the screen. Share this with your followers. So they can see how y'all taking charge of y'all here. And. And. You can. Add more fruit to your day, to your breakfast. Get you some fresh fruit and put on the side. Get you a banana. Get you a cup of berries. Get you an orange. Get you a peach, a slice of watermelon. Ooh, that watermelon. Jesus, thinking about it now. That's good. Five miles a day. That's really good. You're doing good, Perry. Um, since you, let's jump on top of this coffee. Mm, mm, mm coffee girl girl okay coffee is caffeine yes it is good to cut back on that too uh citra unless <laughs> i'm trying not to be biased <laughs> it's some of our coffee granules that we're gonna be offering to help you lose weight and detox <laughs> i'll just play it girl <laughs> But for real, yeah, too much caffeine is not good. It'll make you stay awake. It'll make you not get adequate rest. And I always tell people from my own experience, my own experience, when you cut back on your coffee or any type of caffeine, uh, you have to kind of gradually cut that out because you will get a caffeine headache. Now, if you can handle that um, caffeine headache, Go right ahead. Um, just cut it out. Cold turkey. Wonderful. Great. Do it. But um, if not, cut back to uh, four ounces of coffee every day. Push back to it and make sure uh, you're getting your water intake so you can stay fuller longer. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying to get situated over here. So you can stay fuller longer. And you also want to make sure with your cream, you cut back on your cream too. So when you're pushing back, come back with your coffee, you come back with your cream too. So if you was putting in two tablespoons of cream, um, just for example, and you come back to that four ounces of coffee, you're only going to use one. Okay. Okay. You used it already. Yeah. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, so you're going to cut back. Oh, excuse me. You're going to cut back on that too. Excuse me, you guys. That's so rude. I'm so sorry. I yawned. Um, you're going to cut back on that too because that, um, you mean the, the pre-made, like the coffee made, um, van or vanilla, the powder. Which one was it? I I'm not. I know you said vanilla cream, but which one? Help me out. Does it already have the added sugars? Yeah, I know. 